Smith and this is my movie. I was born a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, which is the Mormon Church, and I was raised in Utah. All my life I dreamed of being a science fiction writer and someday making blockbuster feature films. But I also believed that to be happy, I had to follow God's will. So I gave up my writing and set out on a quest to find God. I spent 18 months on a mission in Taipei, Taiwan. After I came home, I converted to Mormon fundamentalism, which looks forward to Zion, a utopia without pain, sorrow, or sickness. I think everyone wants to be involved in some greater cause or change the world somehow. I was looking for meaning. Polygamy was just a side effect. And anyway, I had to get married, right? But it seemed like the good ones were already taken. Then I met Bruce. Hi. He seemed like the perfect man. Spiritual, intelligent, and dedicated to his wife and six kids. Bruce introduced me to fundamentalism. He believed that to be saved in the highest heaven, he had to live polygamy. He asked me to marry him and become his second wife. Have you read this book too? I have actually, it makes a lot of sense. I became convinced that this is what God wanted me to do. The three of us talked about the marriage. She told me that she wanted it, otherwise I wouldn't have done it. I was 27 at the time. We wanted to stay in the LDS church, so we agreed to keep the marriage a secret. Did your older brother beat you up a lot? Um, not really. I think I beat him up more. Yeah. You had a one with two wives. You knew what you were getting into. I told you I explained everything about this to it's you. It's not working, Bruce. Can't you see that? It's just not going to happen. Listen. They expected instant spirituality. Instead, their lives were disrupted. Three weeks into the marriage, Bruce stopped sleeping with me. Seven months later, he gave me a note saying that it wasn't working out and to pack my stuff and go. Don't pout, he said. Three and a half years later, he came back and we tried again for five months. But Bruce had his own problems. And again, our marriage didn't work out. Maybe it was all for the best. In spite of this small setback, I hung on to my beliefs. And my next polygamous marriage was more normal. I joined the true and living church in Manti, Utah. People I meet ask me, how does a man manage more than one wife? One strategy is to alternate sleeping with each wife every other night. I knew a man with five wives, and he spent two nights with each one in a set cycle. At the end of it, he spent two nights alone for a bit of a rest. My second husband was single when I married him, and the first six months were bliss. Then he married a second wife, a beautiful 17-year-old girl. I was 35 years old, so she got a lot of attention. 
when they got a revelation that they had been my parents in a previous life, I decided it was time to move on. My third husband did better. He believed in equality and I appreciated that. He split the nights fairly, but he was more stern and critical. I think men who live polygamy and want to succeed should spend equal time as much as possible. And so sisters, we know that obedience is essential. Some polygamists believe that they can do whatever they want and the woman should just put up with it. Because marriage is not about romance, it's a duty. It's hard for most women to imagine living with their husbands other wives, but sister wives often live together in the same house. For men, the advantages of this are that he can save on rent and his whole family is together. For women, they can share the cooking, cleaning, and babysitting. <laughs> the disadvantage is obvious, jealousy. A lot of women don't like sharing space with another wife. One of my sister wives delighted in spying on me during the day and then tattling on me at night to our husband. That kind of stuff drove me nuts. No, what? No, no, you I I One man had eight wives who each had their own home. He claimed it was worth every penny. You, do that all the time. you know what, guys? You don't work on the weekends. You don't work at all. I work. I Honey, can you come help me with the babies? I, they're both being really fussy. I just, I can't hold them both at the same time. People ask me how I felt about sharing my husband. To tell the truth, jealous. But if a husband treated me fairly, then I was okay with it and worked to get along with the other wife. Hey guys. Hey, how are you? Got paid today. Great, great. Awesome. All right. Polygamy is a religious doctrine, and jealousy is not a spiritual type of feeling. Have a good day. I wanted my husband to live polygamy because I liked the idea of an extended family with other wives and kids. And I thought polygamy would give me more freedom, since my husband would have other wives to take care of him, but often the idea was better than the reality. At the time, I was proud of living polygamy and having sister wives, because I felt I was living my religion and that God was pleased with me. Some cereal, honey. Thank you. Could I get some juice, too? Please? Sure. Really hot, so be careful. Thanks. Uh, could you get uh, one lunch too, please? People see polygamous wives as subservient, and they are. But inside polygamy or outside, it still seems the same. Women end up waiting on men. There you go. Thank you. During those 10 years, I gave up everything, myself, my dreams, and my worldly possessions. And in the end, I hadn't found true happiness. The deeper meaning I'd been searching for eluded me. And hast made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign... The doctrines began to be a bit much for me. Like when evil spirits were declared to be the cause of every ill, or when everyone was declared to have been a biblical prophet in a previous life, or when our leader said that Jesus would return at a certain time, and he didn't.
I began to regret not following my dreams. I wanted to write again. Then someone told me to follow my intuition. I realized that if I did, I would be miles away from there. I felt jealous of those whose lives weren't complicated by the demands of salvation. I couldn't believe God was as stern and unforgiving as I'd been taught. It was June 1999, six months before the end of the world. I was afraid that if I left, God would condemn me. But sometimes, it's worth taking a chance. sorry I lived polygamy because it was something I believed in. It forced me to re-examine my own views. Now I look to myself for direction, and I feel freer than ever before. Okay, that was great. That was great. Okay, cut. <laughs> <laughs>